you ever been told lactic acid is what's slowing you down when you're working out? Lactic acid is what's making you sore and you gotta run it and roll it out the next day. What if I told you both of those statements were wrong? We actually aren't even producing lactic acid when we're exercising. We're producing a molecule known as lactic. When we're exercising, like I am right now, your body takes glucose or sugars or carbs and breaks them down to produce energy so we can keep moving. When oxygen is present and available, it takes the glucose and breaks it down into something called pyruvate that then sends us into our mitochondria to help us keep making energy through ATP metabolism while we exercise so we can keep going. Now, when we're exercising, we also start to accumulate the production of H plus ions or hydrogen ions. And when there's an excessive abundance of this or less oxygen is not available or simply our body wants to make space to keep making more energy for our body, it will attach these H or hydrogen ions to pyruvate and make a molecule known as lactate. When there's less oxygen available, your body will continue to produce more and more lactate, increasing that in your blood and creating something called the lactate threshold, which you might have heard in exercise, which just starts to rapidly produce beyond what it can be cleared. But when you're exercising during more aerobic or oxygen-rich exercise environments like I am right now, or resting between hard bouts or intervals or recovering during exercise, your body will take lactate and send it to other metabolically active tissue to break up that hydrogen ion and allow it to produce pyruvate to turn into more energy, or it creates space for your body to keep running through that electron transport chain and producing more energy while reducing the acidity of the environment so you can actually keep going longer. Lactate can also be sent to other tissues in our body like our brain or our liver or our hearts and even turned back into glucose and being stored in our liver to be used for energy metabolism later. This means that lactate is broken down or cleared back to baseline and isn't accumulating or hanging out in our blood for a long period of time contributing to muscle soreness and or it's actually helping reduce fatigue so you can continue to exercise longer. In fact, muscle soreness, damage, and fatigue isn't caused by lactate at all. And that's because lactate isn't a waste molecule. It's actually an active metabolite that contributes to energy metabolism. And while lactate is produced under anaerobic or lower oxygen conditions, it's also produced all of the time. Even you sitting there right now, you're making lactate. So next time you hear that myth, make sure you send someone this reel and let me know what you want to learn on my next run rant.